Hey everyone, welcome, welcome to Ecom Club Live Training. All right, so let me know if you guys can hear me. So I know it's a little bit late for us to start, so but it's still like 6 p.m. so far. All right, so remember that every 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 Wednesday 6 p.m. I will be here with you guys, teaching you guys something new with e-commerce and showing you guys some strategy that you should follow in order to build a successful e-commerce store. Okay, it's not just limited dropshipping, but as a whole overall how to build e-commerce brand that can bring you unlimited. I would say, yeah, returning customer and keep increasing the average order value as well. All right, so long story short, just let me know in the comment box, are you first time watching our live? Just type one, okay? Second time, type two. If you've been here for long enough, just type 777 seven, seven comment box. So I know you guys have been following me for a while, okay? So I just see 20 people here in the live, so no worry. Please help me to keep the comment box active because I will show you what is in my store so you can really, really look at what okay how many what is possible okay today i'm going to show you what is possible and i will exactly map you our plan so you guys can build a consistent brand store that you can keep seeing people coming in all right so please 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 take out your notebooks yeah so take out your notebooks and a pen so notebooks and a pen notebooks and a pen okay and then and then try to uh, type ready in the comment box once you are ready right so please do that i got a uh, pretty long share with you guys so stay with me for the next i would say 30 to 45 minutes uh, i have some some gifts and software for you guys as well and you guys can just stay with me and you will get a lot of stuff from me today okay so let me see okay we're 20 billion we see seven 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 we see ready ready okay let's begin okay let me start sharing with my screen okay good all right so time to share the screen all right so if you guys can see if you guys can see so this is one of our store one of our store and just by looking at here looking at here we're sorting by total order high to low so you can see this guy thomas no thompson is the head old place over 90 store in our store spending the 3k and then the guy 36 orders, 2.6k, 35 order, 2.3k. So you can see all these, all these are the customer that place multiple order from our store. You see 22 order, 21 order, 1k, 300, 8k, 2k, 5, 500. I mean, all these things is happening in our store. You can see this is just the first page. We have multiple, multiple pages in our store. And let me just show you. Maybe we can sort by uh, amount spent high to low. Give some time. And we also see that so this guy spent like uh, also 2.9k 2.5k 2.4k see this guy one order you see this guy one order 2.5k right and you see all this is possible see this one x order 2.3k so this is just one of our store I mean, you see we have over i forgot more than like a uh, hundred custom a hundred thousand customer in this store so you see all these are possible and they keep coming back you see 31 orders you i can tell you you cannot see this in a general store. There's no way you can see this kind of returning numbers of customer from the from a general store. This, there's no way that someone buy a kitchen product and come back and buy a beauty product from you. Right? High chance they will not. But when you have niche store, this is a pan store, baby store, an outdoor store, they will keep coming back and buy. We see 28 order, 1.2k. Five order, 1.2k. Right? So you can see it's all this, all this a real number. This is not bad. I cannot generate a fake screenshot like this. See another one order. 1k right so all these things is here so as i said this is my street this is my store if you see anyone taking this video and claim a stairs let me know i'm gonna report that okay so this something is legitimate and this is what we've been doing so far and this is just one of our store we're a store so this kind of to show that is what is possible and you will know that okay so how can i do this because i got several several students asking me hey Yik, how can i get consistent sales because the biggest biggest problem in a business is consistent revenue right you can make money on right now but doesn't mean you can make money tomorrow okay you can be super super rich right now but doesn't mean you can be super rich remaining of your life okay the reason the meaning of life okay the purpose of life is not like you make a lot of money right now is that how you can sustain your wealth you keep generating money you keep generating money and then you know how to make good use of the money to bring you more money Right? But not like, okay, you know, some people keep telling me, hey, now yeah, it's Halloween, let me sell Halloween products. Hey, yeah, now it's Christmas, let me sell Christmas products. Let me create a store, only sell Halloween stuff. So that means you want to make money only on Halloween. Then, then 
what you need to do next right a lot of people they focus too much on what we call we, call, we call this short-sighted okay you can write this out on a notebook it's called short-sighted that means they can only see something that in front of them right they, they are not those who are long-sighted that means they can see things that's far away right time tell you time is the most important thing in your life and time can basically wipe out everything yep you can have one million dollar right now but suddenly, if you just use this $1 million, buy a lot of other crazy stuff, done, end of this $1 million. Mike Tyson, look at just Mike Tyson, have flipped millions of money. But right now, we mainly have a net worth less than $3 million. And now he has to go outside to do a lot of movie, a lot of show, just to try to make back all the loss. And he's still in debt. A lot, a lot of Hollywood star, yeah, they make a lot of money easily because of one very, very hot, hot movie, right? Then, what can we do right now? Right? So this is something you guys have to understand. You do not want to make money right now. You want to make money forever. Right? A, you want to make money right now or you want to keep making money of forever of your life. Right? So this is something you guys make, need to make a decision. Right? So, uh, I see some of you asking questions. Let me just have a quick look first. Uh, let me see. Long boy TVX. Yeah. Okay, good. Let me share my screen again to show you guys how you need to, what you need to do today. Right? Uh, this one. Okay, can you guys see the screen? Okay, I just put it as a brand store. Right? Okay, so first one, first one. I'm I am literally mapping out to you guys how to build a real legitimate store. Okay, this will apply to any any future business you do. Okay, this is what we call marketing tactics, or you can say a gen, a general uh, strategy that you guys have to follow if you want to build a long-lasting business okay it's never never just facebook or google it's like an overall structure right there may be a lot of stuff that you need to take in but if you can build it step by step okay your store will last forever there's a lot a lot of company that's like 100 years old 200 years old 500 years old and they still survive all because of they have to do something similar to this with the concept okay so i will let you guys know today all right so I will break it down into like I would say two to three parts, two to three parts, try to follow. Okay, the first part, the first part, product. Okay, product. You need to have new product. Okay, it's a must. Don't tell me that. Yo, yeah, I know some guys only sell this product for the last six months. Okay, how about next six months? How about the next two years? Where is it? Can you still sell this product? Even iPhone. Just look at iPhone. New model every year. Yeah, new model every year. But even Tesla need to release new model. Right? New MacBook, right? This earlier this, this week. They released new MacBook, new airport, right? <laughs> the new claw to, to, to clean your your uh, your your screen, right? It costs like nearly $20, right? So look at this. See, even big company need a new have new product. The same for you. You need to have a new product, right? So that's why never stop what we call R and D. Anyone know what's the meaning of law R and D? The long form R and D. Type in the comment box. Right, you need R and D. What's the means? Innovation. Innovation, right? You need to keep testing products. Testing. Keep okay. Keep finding and keep testing products okay, you, you cannot stop this no way and the more you test okay the more customer you get the more customer you get okay and the more i would say returning not returning the more coverage you have just look at just just as an example as apple right Apple first launched with the MacBook. You know that, right? It starts with the MacBook. Right? And then it becomes to turn to what? iPod. Right? It turn from what? Computer into what? Music. Right? And then iPod become what? iPhone. Smartphone. Okay? In the mobile phone industry. And next, what else? iPad. Right? Tablet. Industry. And then next, what happened to now? Okay? After they have the iPad, they even have something called the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro, which is like what the laptop industry. 
right? It was from a desktop here. Desktop, music, phone, tablet, and then laptop. And then what have what they have there right now? The purchase beat, right? The monster beat. You guys know what's monster beat, that the, the earphone company. And then they create their airport. Right now, earphone, right? They also have something called home port. Right? And then right now, what's happening? They start creating things with home smart smart home appliance, which is including right now home port mini. Right, you can use Hey Siri and you know, all this stuff is gonna happen, right? And then and then they now is going into what subscription. Subscription. Just look at what they are doing, and you can do the same. I mean it. Just learn learn from the big brand. Subscription. They're selling what iCloud, right? Apple TV. Right, they now have Apple Music, all kind of subscription-based stuff, right? They're selling software, right? So this is what they're doing right now, and now they're going to what? Apple Car. See, this is kind of just a some part of our Apple ecosystem, right? So you can expect you need to do the same. First, people love the computer, right? They only want to buy a computer. Let's say your first winning product is a T-shirt. Then, but just t-shirt just just a mac right what about other people who love buying baddings but then you need to have baddings right so that's maybe another baddings check and then what about people who what who love to decorate their home right decorate their home so you have more things like home decor products right maybe like like carpet carpet right and then there's something like gifts you know what kind of gifts apple have apple right now have a lot of daughter Provider engraving. You know what's engraving? That means you can put your name on your iPad, your name on your MacBook, your name, or whatever you want, put it there. Right? It's called, you can say personalized. So look at it. Apple is doing personalized product just like that. Engraving. It's what we call engraving. Why do you do it? It's free as well. But it gives it a sense of gift. I can send a gift to you and tell you I love you in a, in a, maybe on an iPad. Right? Something like that. If something is possible, then you guys can do the same. You have personalized jewelry right now. A lot of things, jewelry, right? Anything that's 3D printed, right? All kind of POD product can do customized products. Right? So these kind of things keep testing new products, keep developing new category, right? And then develop new price point. New price point. What do you mean? Yeah, I don't know what I don't get what you mean. Just look at. Look at this. Just look at just Apple Watch. Just Apple Watch. Apple already give you three options. Or you can buy the cheapest one, only two hundred dollar, and then you can buy the three hundred dollar one or the four hundred dollar one. For me, I cannot even I didn't I cannot even know which one are they. But they give you the pricing. Okay, if no idea what it is, just go to for the cheapest one. It doesn't matter. But the one that will love all the technology stuff, they go for what the four hundred dollar one, right? Even they have the iPad light up. Right, the iPad light up this year. You see, you see, right? So there's a lot. You see, even they have from three hundred dollar to four hundred dollar. All these, all these things. Right, this is the old one, but it's the similar stuff. But you can get the idea. Right, even the same product, they can have different price points, and you guys need to have it as well. Right, this is trying to give your customer more option. Because you need to know that you need to know that in the beginning your your, your preferred customer base maybe just like 25 years old to like 45 years old maybe right and even within this price print there are people have different money right their incomes is can be, can be different some people buy more expensive stuff some want to buy cheaper stuff right so this is something you need to know and also gender right gender males female right and you have what grandparents right baby boomers those that's born after uh, world war world war ii so this is something you need to fear about so product is a really really important things and that's why you need to what master different product research skills all right yep you have just you and Alex to do product research yep you have you have Amazon to do product research yep you can use eBay yeah you can use spying software right you can hire people to do for you hire people to do for you 
and there's a lot, lot of video for you to watch, right? All this you need to master. This it gives you different source of products. Okay, why Apple have to do Mac and then go to music and go to iPhone, go to all this stuff? Because you see that, okay, this is working in that company. Let me try. Or because you see that in the future, someone is developing something. Let me do it first. The same for you. You go to AliExpress, you look for the product from China. You go to Amazon, look for things that are best selling in the USA. You go to eBay, you look for things that's also best selling in like USA, but it can be secondhand. Right? And then you go for SC. You go for SC. Look at product that's made of what is handmade. Right? You go to uh, Redbubble. Right? Or you can say, or your Pinterest. You know what design is selling good. Right? Design is selling good. Right? Can those pre on demand design. But you're using spying software to know what is selling right now. Right now. Right? You hire people because this guy may be worth for another guy doing really, really good product research. Where you hire him to steal his knowledge. Right? I need to, I want you to know that for us in our team, in our team, every yeah, I can tell every team member must do portal research. Yeah, in our team, whether you have a team of four people, one people, two people, four people, five people, or even 30 people, every single one of them must do portal research. Because every one of them represents a customer. This guy may love baby stuff. This guy may love pet stuff. This guy may come from a background that's really, really rich. This guy may come from a poor family. They all have different shopping behavior. So when they go outside and do product research for you, they will give you a different package of products. And you based on that, you pick the one that will work. Okay? If you just use your idea to look for products, trust me, you yep, you work in the beginning. But when you find out that, you can meet what we call a bottleneck. And that's why a lot of people fail when this guy do everything by himself. Because he become the bottleneck of the business. But when you have a team, you let every team member to do a whole research, then there's no longer a bottleneck. It becomes what? It becomes a community. It becomes what? It becomes a catalyst across everyone to look for new way of doing product research. Right? So you guys have to remember, I know there's a lot of stuff here, but this is the most important things. Tell your mom, hey mom, help me to look for product. Hey dad, try to search something on AliExpress. Hey sis, Hey bro, let me tell me do something. Done. Very easy. Ask your friend. Ask them to look for a product for you. Ask them what do they buy. Everyone is an asset in your life. All right. Comment seven 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 in the comment box as long as you have learned something right now, just in the past like ten minutes. This is the most important things. I can tell this is the most most important thing in any business. You have a good product, people will come for you. You have a new product, people will come for you. You have a product that never see outside, they will come for you. And it's the easiest thing to do marketing. And this is the reason why I focus a lot, a lot on creating trainings, free training that make you guys keep coming back and watch, watch it. Because I focus on giving you the best things I know. It's not like I'm showing you copy and paste from other people's training. It's the thing that I'm doing, I'm texting, so I give you guys something new, something that's useful and really, really down to earth. I walk the walk. And that's the thing you guys have to focus as well. You find a product that you think is the best and you have faith in it and you test it. And you keep changing it based on the data. All right? This is just step one. Okay, step one, right? Then, step two. So, but for example, look at, let me show you uh, here. So look here, look here. Uh, you can see, this is still 4.7 million, but we also have done more than 5 million right now for this store. Because I think we done it like a few months ago. You can see, just in this sheet, we sell watches, make us uh, 500k. We sell t-shirts, 300k. We sell watches, but this is black watches, 200k. Shirts, 200k. GSS, 150k home i think i guess it's maybe home product 140k mask 130 hopes that means like maybe home decker those are hopes that you can use in the in in your like uh in your hanger on the water the hanger right blacknesses 100k is only selling blacknesses hoodies 100k mugs look at it we sell mugs that's more than nearly five thousand orders selling mugs and then it's like nearly 100 100k right bracelets Rock USB drive. We even sell USB drive. Matt, watch. You see, this is the gold one. This is the black one. Right? See, different watches. Right? You can see, okay, that means the black watches sell better than rose gold watch. Right? I'm sure that in Facebook, maybe the same. The space grade iPhone also sell more than the gold rose gold iPhone. Right? Carpet, bracelets, calligraphy. We even sell paintings. We sell wall art. 52K. Rings. 
rings, 50k, clocks, right? Shirts, scoops, coffee scoops, they mean spoons, right? And then hoodie, bedding, scarves, apparels, but okay, just pick random one, even just this one, leggings. We sell leggings and make 20k. The number here is USD. This is not Hong Kong dollar, not Japanese yen. This is USD. And we, I think you screenshot like like, a few, like last month, last year. And you can see this is something is legitimate. This is from our store. Earrings. But well, just by looking at this kind of policy selection type, you know what well, there's a lot of opportunity for you to yeah, basically find some things where you got stuck. Yeah, try to use this keyword. Right? And another way to look for those keywords is very, very easy and straightforward. Let me just show you guys here. You just go AliExpress. Okay. Go to AliExpress. Go to AliExpress. And then look at here. Look at here. Look at here. Can you see it? Can you see it? Woman's fashion. Look at this. Legging shirt, short jeans, pants, wedding dress, prom dress, evening dress, African clothing, tanks, body suit. Just on the woman fashion, there's like 30 of them. Men's fashion, another 30 of them. What I do, I, what I do for product research, very simple, very simple. Let's say I'm doing cat niche, cat, and then I put a keyword here: dresses, cat t-shirt, cat blouse, cat hoodie, cat woman set. Do it once every few weeks. All this, just do all this. Don't tell me that you have out of the idea what to sell. If you guys really listen to me, I give you guys a homework. Do you guys want homework? My homework for you guys this week or the, this month. Go to AliExpress today, create a Google Sheet, put down all this keyword. Yeah, put down all this keyword, all this product type in the left hand corner. And then put the niche keyword you have, let's say cat. Okay, let's say cat. And then found that what are the keywords that's related to cat? Cat, kitten, males, you know, all these keywords that related to cat, right? You can do like this. Just go to Google. You put this. Okay. Related cat keyword. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, this, this is not good. So basically, you can use a lot, a lot of oh, no, this, this one, this one. Keyword that is related to cat. Okay. Cat food, cat whatever. There's another keyword in the list. And at least, and at least, find all the work related to cats, and then go to AliExpress, search for the product one by one. And then you can see also on the left hand side, there's a lot more cat toys, cat clothing, cat beds, all these things. So this is related by that Facebook or Google. No, let me AliExpress things. Most people search cat, they buy cat toys, then they buy cat clothing, and then they buy cat beds and mats, and then they buy furniture, feeding, grooming, and this is all sought by popularity. Believe in the algorithm that AliExpress is doing right now. You know, right now, the biggest, biggest e-commerce site is actually not Amazon. It's actually the Chinese one called Taobao, and you can say Alibaba. It's not Amazon. Yeah, Amazon can be, yeah, we make a lot of money, but based on transaction, Taobao, the Chinese company on 6 eggs, may weigh more data than you. They would know exactly what people are searching, and they put it there. If you want to learn about algorithm, go for AliExpress. Okay, so look at this. Just look at the copy and paste. Okay, this will be your, your collection. Find two to three products that's unique and put it there. Right? This will keep you busy for at least a whole year. Even with just a cat niche. Then you have the baby niche. Then you have the other niche that you're going to build. Okay? You get it? Okay? Type me if you understand. Okay? Type me if everything makes sense to you. Okay, good, done. Next, move on. Number two. Okay, the number two that you need to, you need to gather a lot, a lot of returning customer is what we call service. Okay, service. So what kind of service? Customer service. Yep, you need very, very good email. Messenger, let me face messenger. Okay, IGDM, right? If you have live chat, you need to have someone online, then you can have the live chat. All these channels, 
you need to have a very very good system and always reply to them okay if you are not good with cs please outsource i mean it first for me i hate doing cs work it is because it's draining your energy it's draining your energy why this when someone said where is my product i hate this product i want to free fun i want cancel because most of the time no one will talk to the customer service unless there's a problem right so if you're someone that cannot handle problem don't become a customer service team don't even reply and don't even look at the message unless you're someone who love it otherwise hire someone that have done it long enough that means this guy has done e-customer service for at least four five ten years ask that guy to do it for example our team all right so we have a VA team that started work in 2011. yep they have handled more than millions of email requests they're processing both of 10 millions worth of revenues i think way more than that in aliexpress right so you can let me know if you want them help you can talk to me i can outsource to you. i can let you uh hire them but they have limited quality right now because just too busy with all our team members and our student with the q4 but if you did that you can still send a message to me or comment like we a in this chat box i will ask ask my team to contact you if you need their help all right but basically you need really really good cs team you need to have template template that works Template that can people can copy and paste template that, 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 that always trigger them that make them love it like it right? and this is something you guys must know how to do all right because they love your service not just your product there's so many people providing service. So many people are selling smartphone. Apple do not have the best smartphone, but Apple has the best service. Guess what? At least every phone comes with one year free, fixed, free, I would say, warranty. Gap issue exchange. They have a lot of what we call a genius bar. Right? You can book a call with them, go there, they will teach you how to use all their, all their products. Right? They are really really good in, in this town was like smiling they have very good energy right and they what they put customer first they will not argue with you they just know yeah if they make a mistake they will change the whole new phone for you without crashing right so this is something you guys need to build i cannot i don't want to go do the business all about experience okay this is about service okay when you have a good product plus a good service you can at least guarantee a lot of what we call word of mouth marketing That means people will start recommending your product to other people. They will keep coming back to you. But just like how many friends of yours will recommend them to join this group because you have taken a five-day training, you know the training is really good. So you ask them to learn from me. The same things here, the same in each and every other company. You you you, you have a dinner in this five-star restaurant, you love it, you ask your friend to go there to celebrate their, their, their anniversary. The same. Right? All of the things is about word of mouth. Right? Okay, then now go to the third part the third part is more i would say yeah marketing these are more more like technical yeah, a little bit technical okay because it keeps changing okay it keeps changing i cannot give you a fixed answer but it keeps changing that's why i will met you out something that you guys must do okay you guys must do okay the first one yep you guys are doing facebook ad right but when you're doing facebook ad you need to do two more things first retargeting targeting okay b upselling d crop selling right so they're different they're different right and you can do a lot of way you can do it with like catalog ad you can do it with like collection ad you can do it with what we call a uh, single single ad I don't want to go too deep, but basically you guys know it. If you know what it means, right? Retargeting is the same product. Okay, people are gonna keep seeing your product and keep coming back to you because it takes five encounter for someone to make a decision. That means these guys need to keep checking the product page. This guy need to keep coming back for at least four or five times or more in order to take out the credit card and buy from you, especially for men. For men. 
men or like us when we want to buy something we keep checking it for at least a few more times before we buy it but for ladies they may just buy it as another price is good they will just grab it so that's why the shopping behavior between men and women is a little bit different okay women will be just buy it men we need to think about it unless they really, really know what they need okay and then upselling that means after they bought something okay you sell them more okay let me tell them what else they can buy tell them what else is available on your store right just like uh when you guys are queuing up you don't when you guys are queuing up that means you are already queuing up on on your on the supermarket right you see something is very cheap like the chewing gum some candy some energy bar it's so cheap just one dollar two dollar you grab it and buy it right so it's kind of like upsell basically already checking out and then it upsell you to buy more stuff i can tell you most 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 supermarket and convenience store they make the money on what we call this kind of uh, upsell bar yep that chewing gums the candies, the energy bar is super, super cheap for them. And they make tons and tons of money just because selling that. You make them extra 10, 20% revenue just by putting cheap stuff along your line, queuing line, right? And then cross selling, basically sell then other product type. You can say other product or other product type. Okay, let me, this guy, he was checking out the t-shirts. But then you tell them, hey, actually, we, we, we have something better than t-shirts. We have hoodies, we have baddings, we have home decker. Go there and check it out as well. Then you give them what? More exposure. So, okay, basically, this one, the overall three structure, give you more exposure to the product you have. All right? Okay, before I, before I move on, I want to tell you one thing first. The product... It's just like your feel. Okay? The product is like your feel. You know what I mean by feel? I mean, let's imagine when you, this is a car you're riding right now. The car needs energy, right? The energy comes from the product. If you have no more new product, that means you have no feel. If no feel, your car will stop, no matter how good your engine is. Because marketing is the engine. Okay, marketing is the engine. Okay. Yep, you can have the best engine. You have you can have Ferrari, you can have Mercedes, you can have like like, like Lamborghini. But the problem is if you don't feed it with the very, very high quality feel, no, I mean high quality. Do you think you put diesel into a Lamborghini? Do you think it would no it will ruin the engine? Right? If you put a very high quality petroleum, you put it there, done. The engine will stay clean, the engine will run really, really smooth, and you have no issues. That's why fuel is the super important thing. And then you have the engine. Then how about this word service? Service is more like you are the one. Okay, you can see the driver. Yeah, the driver. Yeah, how do you fulfill the order, right? This is how to fulfill the order. Yeah, it's more personal. How you can build relationship with your supplier, the relationship with your customer, the relationship with, your, with all these people. You're the driver. You're the one who drive the car. That means if you have the feel and you have a very really good driver, okay, I would say a conscience driver. Okay, it's good because you know I have heard a lot, a lot of general store guru. They just say no, just don't refund. No, if this guy won't refund, don't refund. Right, this guy want to cancel order, don't cancel. Keep selling more, keep selling. Right, push you to buy more. Pop up, uh, countdown timer, cross sell, upsell, whatever stuff. Just give it to this guy. Force him to buy from me first. Right, and then they even said, don't even fulfill the order. Sell copyright order. Right, you know, this is all this really. I really heard people but copyright order doesn't matter. Just sell it first, make money first. Right, see, you like I said, a business. What is a business? And then we remember this quote, business is an extension of you, right? Business is an extension of you. Do you know what it means? That means whatever you do will become your business. If you are a poor guy, you have a poor company. If you're someone who, are, who, are, who, are, who, is, who have a very bad heart, your company will do the same business. You will attract people who work for you that have the same concept, the same mindset, and your business will just turn down just because of this. I mean it. That's why if you are not good, don't start a business. Okay? In Chinese, we call it Okay? 
okay, Chinese Chinese legend now, okay. So draw that means be a good person, okay, and then do good work. And then you cannot do good work if you are not a good person. People first, then the business. You can, you, you can hire the smartest guy and he finishes the job really, really well. If you hire a very stupid guy and you even give it the best, best, best template, he will just ruin the business. Because this guy do not have a very, do, is not smart enough. This guy do not have a good heart enough. Right? So this is the problem. That a lot of people fail in business. They hire the wrong guy, even themselves is not good enough. So that's why we call, we call it show scene. You need to practice your heart. You need to keep practicing, keep learning, make your heart strong before you can achieve anything. Okay, seven, 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 seven. If you understand, seven, seven, seven. If you learn something new here, I think it's the most important thing in the business. Don't fail, but you want to make money. You cannot make money if you cannot be a better person. You cannot make money if you're not providing good service to the community. You cannot become wealthy if the people around you are not wealthy. Let, let me repeat. You cannot become wealthy if the people that you serve are not wealthy. That means they cannot gain something from you. Wealthy, that means abundance. That means they get something good from you. That means they can achieve something because you offer something good for them. They, because of using your product, they become happier. They're using your product because they can communicate easier. Like Facebook, like Google, all these big companies, they're providing more quality work than charging you, right? So that's the idea. If you cannot provide good things, you cannot provide value, you will die. I mean, you you die without any money in your bank because you cannot make money at all. Okay, right? Back to here, marketing. Marketing is the engine. You need to have multiple engine. You know the engine. You know someone have the 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 six V eight V twelve V engine. There's a lot, a lot of stuff, right? So, but here, Facebook ad is just the beginning. Because it's the biggest, right? Audience size. They're the biggest and the best algorithm. This big gets the best algorithm. There's no way that we spend a five, ten dollar can get ourselves, but it can happening in Facebook, and that's the power of Facebook. There's a millions of advertisers on Facebook just registered last year, yeah, just because of COVID. More than a few millions new advertisers sign up using Facebook advertisement just because of that, right? And then, and then you have you need to keep retargeting them sell them new product if they just buy from you cross sell them when they have you have new products right and then you need to have to do something called weekly or you can say regular for the launch every single week every single month let your customer know hey we have new product we have new product you know just like north face i become the north face vip that you know it's good it's a really good branding north face vip is called vip yeah that's the brand you know north face the brand north face even know north face uh, yes, we know North Face. North Face is a brand that sells what? Outdoor gear. If you're in the outdoor niche, just learn from what, what our North Face is selling. Yep, just go ahead. Learn from what our, our North Face is doing. Right? North Face is selling... They're not selling gear. They're selling clothing. High quality clothing, right? And then they have a VIP plan called VIP Peak. Yes, no. It's for people who love hiking, going outdoor, they all love the peak. That's why you create something called VIP. Think about you guys. If you want to create a VIP system, what is the name you're gonna give them? Think about this. Because this can help them to build loyalty. They become part of your brand. Right? Just like click funnel, they have something called funnel hacker. Alright, there's a lot, a lot of stuff as well. Okay? Then Facebook, I don't want to go to but make sure weekly launch. Okay. And then number two, I will say most important, email. You must have it, okay, or SMS, okay. Because all these things you can do with targeting. Let me abandonment protector, abandonment, abandonment, okay. Upsell, okay. In the thank you email, in the uh, what we call thank you email, right. You can do the cross sales as, as well in the thank you email. Tell the new product, right. And then you have the product launch. In the product launch, you can be single product, you can be multiple product, right? And then you have what? You have something called like a uh, uh, promotion, right? Because of like Christmas, Halloween, right? All these, all these things. It's not really, really bad. You must have it. Okay, we can just send one single email. You make three, five, ten thousand dollars just because of that email. 
and they need to remind it that they you are still here you are still alive so they can come back and buy from you because most people they forget about you let me know just let me know in this life just, just let me know how many of you you hop on this live training because of you see my email i sent it to you this afternoon okay type email you because of email okay type whatsapp because you see the whatsapp notification okay and then type facebook if you because of the facebook group okay and you because of facebook story you type facebook story why why you are here let me know why tell me why just ask yourself the best study is researching about yourself hey why why you're here in this life is it because of the live notification on facebook because of the whatsapp notification because of email where they say which one why some say whatsapp some say email you see some say facebook even just people here they come from multiple channel how about you how about your store you say, no yeah i don't know where they come in from i just have facebook ad see that's why only facebook ad right there's a lot of those some people that or even instagram anyone from instagram right some some people they 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 they, they focus more on instagram some focus on facebook some on whatsapp and they're all different type of people some traditional people they only check email right so you guys have to know the more exposure you have the more reminder about that okay this is something is happening i need to go there i need to watch i need to buy right so that's why email as i say based on priority facebook is the best because inside facebook okay let me, let me put it here inside facebook you have what facebook group okay you have facebook page right you have facebook message this facebook message they have something called uh, uh the chatbot right so this is something you guys need to have it okay watch the facebook training we have done before watch the facebook page training you have done before watch the facebook message we, we training we've done before all right some of this in the mastermind training you can just search it you will know what we have done all right and then email sms all this is easy i don't want to go too big but you need to have it then google in google you have the google brand search campaign that means people search your brand you will be appearing on google that means they know you're trustworthy they will get it they will talk to you they will click it because they know you are there you are searchable right and then you have google dynamic retargeting dynamic display ad something called you can see something like that. dynamic display retargeting or dynamic display ad you just google it on youtube there's a lot of way to set it up that means same thing as retargeting but they will show it on youtube they show it on different other blog different article as long as they've installed something called adsense okay and then you have google shopping okay ah, see this one search intent people who all if you want to buy something and they see your ad this one facebook impulse buyer impulse buyer also different right people don't know what you're selling but they suddenly see it that's what they're interested in it the same here ask yourself here in this live how many of you be, you start the e-commerce it because you see some advertising you type ad type ad or if you are you are someone that because you want to learn e-commerce that's why you are here and then you type maybe me okay up to you guys you can see just maybe two times or some people they want the training that's why they search for it some people they have no idea what it is but someone tell them they can do it that's what they do it already two type of people and two marketing strategy and you can grow your audience base just because of that so you need these two facebook and google is the best combination plus the email in between for the retargeting you have a very secure system right now for us right now we have sales i want 30 percent is from google another 30 percent let's say from email okay facebook i think is account for like 40 percent okay and then we have the other like yeah, some tiny little bit is from organic from Twitter, from Pinterest, and all the other channel, right? So you can see you need you need to diversify all your sales, right? Then the other one, I would say, organic traffic, organic, which is basically all social media. You need to you need to open all this account, all this media account, Pinterest. You need to have it. Okay, Instagram, you must have it, right? If you can make TikTok, okay, Twitter, okay, YouTube. These are the minimum. Okay, you must have these five minimum. 
make sure to register for your minimum is a brand account. Okay, let me have your brand name on there. Very, very important because people will search over and all oh, this will help you to put your name on the first page of the Google search. So that you, you do not worry about it, they cannot find your brand. And then in all these webs, all these social media, I can put your URL, put your website URL, put some image there, put some product there. Okay, hire a VA, upload the same things to all these platforms. It takes them less than 30 minutes to do this per week. I mean it. It takes my team less than 30 minutes to schedule or to upload everything to this tier. This is the same photo. They just need to log in and post, log in and post. And most of this, you can do it online. You don't even need to have a mobile phone. Right? It's pretty standard. When you have it, you will start seeing traffic. You start seeing people coming in, but it takes time. Okay, it really, really takes time. Right? And then number five. Okay, number five is more what we call miscellaneous stuff. Okay, more miscellaneous stuff. They mean more tiny bit of us. Stuff, which is like coupon sites, review sites, right? Coupon site, review site, uh, some kind of gift guide, okay? Free blog post, right? And all the other stuff, even like influencer posting, posting, the influencer talk about you, talk about you, right? Those are something you need to build as well. Okay, but, uh, what should I prioritize? If you have no, okay. If you have a lot of time, yeah, do all this. If you have no time, but you don't have money, go hard on Facebook ad and then email and then Google ad. These three things are must. Once you have it, trust me, you can make consistent sales very, very easy. The reason why this, the store like that I show you can have a lot of sales because we have 6,000 products. We have 6,000 product in that store. Okay, let me tell you, it will not slow down your site. I have people asking me, hey, Yik, is it when I have a lot of product in my site, uh, my website will slow down? No, it will not. Okay, because you are not building a website on something like a WordPress account or some other account. You're building it on Shopify and they use something called a CSS system. That means the thing is separate. Product is product, database, database, all these things. So they pull the product from the database and show it up to the other people. You are not hosting page by page. It's data by data. So that's why it's easier. It's, you, will not be, uh, you will not be that slowing down your website and you can have as many as many products on the store. Unless some people shut down. Okay? That's the biggest issue if it happens. Right? Okay? So this... Yeah, 6,000 products. I keep adding new products every single day. My customer feel excited when they check my email, when they check my social profile, Facebook page, they keep reacting, they love it, and they keep coming back, right? Then, that's one more thing. In terms of organic traffic, in terms of organic traffic here, you need to provide content. You must provide content. There's lots of things they can provide in terms of content. It can be image, or it can be video, right? It can be guys, it can be URL. There's a lot of stuff. You know the easiest, easiest way to find content? Just learn from big brand. Or you can say your competitor. Okay? So wherever they post and you just post it. Follow some big cat dog TikTok account. Whatever cat photo they post and cat video, but they just post it, repost it. Okay? It doesn't matter. Even the news articles, just look at how many newspaper that you're seeing. How many news channel you are seeing they basically share the same piece of news can you see that channel one b a b c d e they talk the same news every single day but they just change the wording they change the reporter to talk about it but it's the same news business is what happening right now on earth the same you have a good video the good image copy from that guy put it your own you change a little bit on the texting done because people never know about it just like the squid game Just look at how many people talk about the squid game in the past two weeks. And then now, look at it, this week, kind of no one talked about it already. Right? It just lasts for like two to three weeks done, end of the game. Okay? Because it's done. People already watch it. People know about it right now. I don't need to talk about this anymore. Right? But if you look at that two weeks, tons and tons of YouTube videos talk about what it is, tons and tons of articles talk about it, right? And then now they done. Right? That's why the trend shift very, really fast. So you need to keep posting new stuff. It's the same for the product. A winning product lasts for only four to six weeks and then it die. When it die, you need to have a new product. That's why you need to keep testing product. All right? 
right? So this is kind of a game plan that based on right now, my mind and what we're doing right now, then I can, can give it to you, right? But the most importantly, in terms of service price, the personal one, the driver one, you need to have a team. There's no way you can do all this by yourself. And you may be really, really good at finding products, you do more product research. If you are really, really good at doing Facebook ad, you do Facebook ad. For me, I can tell you our structure, our structure. We have our in-house product research team. Okay, we have seven people only doing product research. Okay, and then we have our own email guy. Yeah, we have our own email team member just sending out email into the broadcast. And we also have an email agency tell us to set up the flow. So you have two people doing the, the email. Okay, and then we uh, we have our in-house Facebook ad team. Okay, and then we also have a Google ad team, but we outsource it. We have an agency helping us do Google ad. Yes. Google Ads and Facebook Ads is two different stories. I have seen that. There's so different work for someone that's good at Google and also good at Facebook. They're always separate because the style is so different. So that's why we are good at Facebook. That's why we outsource Google Ads, right? And then you can think about what else we outsource. For social media, we have, in, we have one, one, one ladies, and one team member only doing email, but only doing social media, right? And then for customer service, I outsource all the customer service to my, uh, to my VA company in the Philippines. They only do the my, 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 my customer service stuff, right? How to do ordering. And then we have the private supplier. We have private supplier from Rio. We have private supplier from JD as well. Okay, one more gift for you guys, JD. Uh, if anyone know who's JD? Anyone know, what, know who's JD? So JD reached out to me, you know, JD. Uh, one of the Fortune 100 company, right? Uh, JD reached out to me they are going to have a public release of their sourcing app. Yep, JD is a partner of Mike, of us. We have talked to him, we are, we are actually helping him a lot, helping them a lot to create the shopping, the job shipping app. Yep, JD, the biggest, biggest marketplace, one of the market, biggest marketplace on, on the world, is helping you guys do the sourcing. This will be a game changer. It's way bigger than real, way bigger than Hyper, Hyper XKU, uh, CJ job shipping, or other dropshipping platform you can you are using right now because jd only about sourcing they have over thousands of people in china they have warehouse across the world they have airplanes they have all this crazy stuff happening right now and they can help to source a product not just in china but a brand item kuji lv air jordan uh xiaomi computer all these things will be also available as well in the jd platform and we are they're way really, really close partner. That's why the student of us, the student of YNC, will also have the very, very first batch of access to the JD sourcing platform. So that's why I will start making announcement in the group as well. So if you guys want asset earlier, I will let you guys sign up the form. I will send you guys assets when it is available. Okay, right now it's not yet available to anyone yet, only for our private student, our master student, but they will do a puppet launch. All right, so wait for it. Make sure to stick with our email so that you will not miss anything, join a WhatsApp group if you haven't, so that you will make an announcement there. Okay, so, back to here. Okay, I think so far, so good, kind of. So we need to ask, uh, do you take down the old product? Yup, we'll take down the old product if they have no sales for a really, really long time. Okay, because the product that we got sales have a lot. So that's why you just want to keep it there. Because the Facebook product catalog will help us to identify the product and we, we show it again, again, and again. Okay, so I think kind of this guy, this kind of this will keep you guys really, really busy in terms of what you need to do. All right, try to try to follow this system. Okay, really follow this. This this can work whether you have a restaurant. In a restaurant, you need to have new food, right? New restaurant, long a uh, big restaurant, you need to have a new food. Even McDonald keep giving you new burgers, right? They have new service. They keep hiring new people as well, right? And then they use different marketing channel to tell you there's new burger there, there's new chips, new fries, whatever stuff. They also do the same things, right? They even build a VIP system. They give you gifts, right? You spend ten or a hundred dollars, you give you something like that, right? They have all these things implemented as well. Business generally, all businesses doing like this, but it's more on whether you want to build a successful business or you want to get rich quick. All right, to make money very easy. To make money really, really easy. Buy, 
a good company. Yep, work inside. Yep, work inside. Become manager, management level. Okay, know everything. Right? Okay, and then start your own. When you start your own, you make money, right? Put the money in investment. Before that, all your money should be invested in education. All the money should be put in education. Learn new stuff, new skills. You don't need... I, I, I keep seeing people that they put the money into investment. But the investment, can, the return can be just 3% or 5%. That's it. You put $100, you make $3. But if you put a hundred dollar to learning new stuff, the new stuff can make you make you, make you more money, right? So make make the calculation yourself, right? Just think about it. you spend money on learning a new skill, even inside your company. Your company also give you free training, right? Learn new stuff so you can generate more value for the company. The same thing, but they will not tell you, hey, give the money to you, I give you three percent return. No, they also give the money to you, I give you a new training, right? The same things. Right? You put the money last in terms of investment, unless you have so much money left. So that's why you want to put investment. Otherwise, put the money in learning first. Because learning is lifetime. But investment can be just short-lifted. It may work, it may not work, and you can lose it all. But when you learn something new, it will be inside you forever. And you can even teach it to your kid. Alright? Okay? So that's why be safe if you guys are investing, whether it is in stock or real estate. Okay? Stock and real estate right now is in a bubble. Okay, it's in a bubble. So you guys have to be really, really careful about investing in the stock market and real estate right now. Okay, don't go all in, I would say, in this, this one or two years. Okay, so that's it. That's it. Okay, do we need to train the real if so, from YZ? Uh, most of the time, you don't need to train them. They know all the things you need, but you just need to tell them exactly what you want them to do. Okay, you just tell, tell them what you need to do. Usually they were okay, they can just follow it. But they know they know everything already. They can even teach you as well. Okay, so that's it. That's it for today's sharing. I hope you guys enjoy the training so far for this past one hour. Okay. So when you guys have any any question, feel free to send a message to me. I will see if I can get back to you. Okay, so remember that Q4 already started. So if you really, really, really want to uh have someone guide you and someone to help you with this journey, feel free to send me a message. I will see whether you can you can you are still eligible to join our coaching program. If not, just do whatever you can. Don't miss this chance. Okay? So, see you guys later. Have a good day. Have a good week. And uh, see you later next Wednesday. Alright? Bye-bye. And if you haven't watched the five-day training, okay, please watch all five-day training first. It covers everything you need to know in order to know the overall concept of building a successful store. Okay? Just type... Just search five-day training, e-commerce, something like that on Google. You'll find our training as well. Okay, so bye-bye. See you later. One last one, 777, people will go.